Tonight, lawmakers are asking for Sheriff Robert Arnold's resignation. This is the county's top cop now faces a criminal indictment. We have team coverage tonight of this high-profile case. We begin with Chris Conti, who's at the federal courthouse tonight with more on why the sheriff is in trouble. Chris. And Vicki, in the coming months, Sheriff Robert Arnold will see much more of the inside of the federal courthouse here. To today, he was brought before a federal judge in handcuffs and shackles. Tonight, the man whose job it is to uphold the law is accused of breaking it. Yeah. Sheriff Robert Arnold's morning ended like this. Get out of the street before you get run over. <laughs> Attempting to dodge reporters as he left federal court in downtown Nashville. You know, we take all allegations of public corruption, no matter what the level, seriously. It began with something as simple as an electronic cigarette. Authorities say Arnold's uncle started a company called Jail Six. Their business was to sell e-cigs to inmates. I'm now delving into this and we'll get it fixed. Arnold subsequently made several false and misleading statements to the media. In a 29-page indictment filed this morning, bribery, extortion, obstruction of justice, it is alleged that the sheriff pocketed tens of thousands of dollars from the sale of those e-cigs instead of putting the money into Rutherford County's general fund. Sheriff Arnold violated his duty to the people uh, that he was to serve, the people of Rutherford County. At a press conference Friday morning, the U.S. District Attorney told reporters that Sheriff Arnold allegedly used some of the money for his re-election campaign. When he was running for re-election as sheriff, Sheriff Arnold received four checks totaling over $22,000. The sheriff, his chief deputy, and his uncle were all arraigned Friday morning. The steady sound of chains clinking filled the ninth floor courtroom as all three men in shackles and handcuffs went before a judge cameras were not allowed inside. The public deserves integrity from its elected officials and it's disappointing when law enforcement leaders abuse their position and contribute to public distrust. A strange role reversal for a man who swore an oath to uphold the law. Get out of the street before you get run over. <laughs> but is now accused of breaking it. Sheriff Arnold was quickly released on a $250,000 bond. He was ordered to stay within the confines of Middle Tennessee and has to surrender his passport. We are live at the federal courthouse downtown this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.